technologies are infallible. DNA evidence can be wrong, either through human error, tampering, or even outright fabrication, and it happens more often than we are told. What this amounts to is a scenario in which we have little to no defense against charges of wrongdoing, especially when convicted by technology, and even less protection against the government sweeping up our DNA in much the same way it sweeps up our phone calls, emails, and text messages. It's only a matter of time before the police state's pursuit of criminals from the past expands into genetic profiling and a preemptive hunt for criminals of the future. Solving unsolved crimes is a noble objective, but it occupies a lower place in the American pantheon of noble objectives than the protection of our people from suspicionless law enforcement searches. Make no mistake about it, your DNA can be taken and entered into a national DNA database if you are ever arrested, rightly or wrongly, and for whatever reason. Perhaps the construction of such a genetic panopticon is wise. But I doubt that the proud men who wrote the Charter of Our Liberties would have been so eager to open their mouths for royal inspection.